Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Chirp, and you just got your Chirp wheel, you lucky duck! I'm here to show you how to use it. Alright, to get this party started, we're gonna need two things. The first one being a human, and the second one being a Chirp wheel. So today, I have my mother-in-law, Michelle, here with me, and we're gonna start using the 10-inch wheel. It's the same concept whether you use the 12-inch wheel or the 6-inch, but the 10-inch is a nice middle ground. The first thing you're gonna need to do is find a wide open space where you can actually roll out safely. We recommend getting a harder floor and not a big shag carpet because the more firmer the surface, the easier it is to balance on the wheel. So we're gonna have you sit down right here first. And what you're gonna do is you're going to line up the spinal canal of the wheel with your own spine. What we're gonna have you do is you're gonna lean back onto the wheel and you're gonna feel the wheel take some of the pressure of your body. Next, you're gonna put your hands by your side and you're gonna lift your hips off the ground and feel your body weight go onto the wheel. Next, you're going to extend and retract your legs. This is gonna help you roll along the wheel and let the wheel dig into those muscles along your spine that have tension and soreness. Now we're gonna have you lower your hips and you're gonna come down to the ground, lift your head up, and now your back is less sore and you're on the ground. That's a win-win situation in my book. All right, sometimes it's a little hard to get on the ground. Might not be a spring chicken anymore, more of an elderly waterfowl. But regardless, this is how you do it on the wall. You're going to stick the wheel on the wall about right here on the small of your back. You're gonna line up your back with the wheel once again. What's going to happen is while we turn gravity on its side, you are going to now bend your knees and you're having to roll up and down your back. The way that you get more pressure is you would Push your feet away further from the wall, and if you want less pressure, you're gonna to wanna to get closer to the wall. Okay. Be careful though, because you don't wanna slip. You shouldn't wear socks and do this, because socks, they happen to be slippery, unless they have the little grippy ones you get from a hospital, which if you're rolling on the wall, you've probably been to the hospital one or two times. All right, let's hear it from Michelle. And let's hear it for you too. We really hope you enjoy your Chirp Wheels, and we really, really hope you enjoy your new life without back pain. From all of us at Chirp, see ya when we see ya.